Hello, how's it going everybody? It's Diego back uh, with, with another video on, on this channel. I know it's been a while since I've <laughs> uploaded content here, but um, every now and again I, I find my way back to, to at least making something here. So <laughs> uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different though. Usually I kind of, I don't even know what I do on this channel. I'll be honest, it's been so long since I've uploaded on it. I don't even know what I do on it. <laughs> but uh, today's video is going to be kind of a rambly one, which is why I didn't put it on the main channel uh, because I didn't think it really fit there. There's been something on my mind for a little while now and it's been kind of bugging me and it's in regards to the paleontology fringe theories iceberg. Now as you guys know I recently finished up the paleontology fringe theories iceberg on my main channel and it's felt very rewarding and satisfying to be able to finish such a big popular high demanding series as the paleontology fringe theories iceberg so I feel very I feel very happy that I'm, I've been able to finish it up now you'd think that after finishing a big series like that I would feel accomplished and satisfied right and I do for the most part I do don't get me wrong but <laughs> then I remembered something uh, an entry from the iceberg uh, that is shrouded in a lot of mystery at least for, for me it is because I could not find anything on this entry. Now, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you guys what the entry is right now, but keep in mind there's a little, there's a little bit of context that's needed for this entry. So first off, this entry isn't even on the, uh, the, the main iceberg. It's, or the one, not on the iceberg version that I covered. For context, there are three total versions of the, of the iceberg. Uh, the version that I covered on my main channel is the second version of the iceberg. The first version has a couple of entries that weren't included in the second version. One of these entries was titled, Dinosaurs Telekinetically Guided the Meteor Suicide Theory. That is probably one of the most strangest theories I have ever heard about regarding dinosaurs. And this is coming from a guy that covered like 200 plus of them on his main channel <laughs> in a series. And it's one that unfortunately doesn't have a lot of information about it on the internet. In fact, as far as I can tell, it has no information on it on the internet because I can't find a single thing about it. If you're familiar with the Iceberg series on my channel, you, you probably know about the Google document and you probably know that I've been in contact with the creator of the Iceberg to ask questions about things like this. So you're probably thinking, well, you know, just, just refer to them or refer to the Google document. The Google document, first off, was made for the second version of the iceberg. Another piece of context, in case you guys didn't know, uh, I made a bonus episode where I took entries from the first version of the iceberg and the third version of the iceberg that had entries that weren't included in the second version and took those and put them together to make just one extra bonus episode. Uh, and I was I was totally going to include dinosaurs to <laughs> the entry titled dinosaurs to telekinetically guided the meteor suicide theory into that video. But I decided to ax it because I could not find anything on it. And I actually did get in contact with sustained disgust to ask them if they knew anything else about it, because there was just nothing else. There, there was nothing I could find on the Internet that was that had any information to it. This was a while ago. This was back in, I want to say, February. Yeah, this was in February because that's when I ended up making the bonus episode. They actually, they did respond. They took a little bit to respond because they saw my message and I believe they were trying to find it for me after seeing the message before responding. But unfortunately, they didn't, they weren't able to find it. So based on their response to me, Sustained Disgust said that they got this theory specifically from a paperback book of UFO slash pseudoscience in the vein of John Keel, Brad Steiger, St Steiger. But yeah, that's pretty much all the information they gave me. They, when they jotted this down for the iceberg, this specific theory, they unfortunately didn't jot down the title of the book or the author that wrote it. They, they unfortunately couldn't give me anything. And ever since then, that theory comes back to mind every now and again. And it, I, I continue doing a little bit of research and I try to see if I can find anything and it's no different. I always just, there's always dead ends. And it makes me think that this theory is just that obscure. It's prob probably obscure to the point where it's just, uh, it, it just hasn't been recorded on the internet, which I know that might sound hard to believe, but from my experience working on this iceberg 
uh, this paleontology French theories iceberg, I can attest that there are some things on there. Uh, it's rare, but there are some things on there that haven't actually really been recorded that much on the internet, if at all. Some entries don't have anything to the point where that's why I would come in contact with, uh, with Sustained Disgust to get any information from them because from my knowledge, they actually got the majority of their stuff from books that they have. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a very weird situation, but it's one that I can't stop thinking about. And it's one that some people have even asked about in the comment section, because I've, I've shown this version of the iceberg before on, on my channel and people have noticed it and they bring attention to it, but it's like, they, there's not, there's, there's no explanation for it. So as I already mentioned, I, I feel like I'm at a point where in order to find out anything else about this, I needed to bring attention to it. I'm just, it's just, it's just curiosity, really. It's just my, my curiosity here is, is killing me because I like, it's just one of those things I feel like I need to know about. And if you've watched my series on the, on the channel, then you're probably one of those people too, where it's like you, you see an, like a theory or, or just anything like this. That's so interesting, but you get super annoyed that there's like no information on it and you can't learn more about it. It, it sucks. It sucks. And I want to, and I want to see if we can find any more information. So if this theory at all sounds familiar to you and you have any more information, please let me know in the comments down below. If you don't, but are a part of communities or know of somebody or are friends or family with somebody that, that is interested in this stuff and has more knowledge about it than you and I, share the video, share this video to them. Send them to this video because I, I, I need to know. <laughs> I, this is just something I'm going to make this my life's journey to know where this fucking thing came from. <laughs> it's probably not even that big of a deal. There's probably barely an, any information on it. Who knows? I don't care. I just, I need, I just want to know. I need to know. <laughs> I'm desperate people. Okay. Now I know I'm sounding like I'm a bit crazy, which I, I, that's pretty, pretty typical of me. That's kind of the norm. But for those of you that are probably not familiar with me and think that I'm just being crazy. L let's be real here. You can't just say dinosaurs telekinetically guided the meteor suicide theory without at least giving some level of context or explanation to it. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like the, the, the title of the entry is pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Dinosaurs had telekinetic powers and they killed themselves by guiding the meteor with their powers. Sure, it's self-explanatory. Yeah, okay, but there's so many questions here. Who was the author that came up with this theory? Why did they think dinosaurs had telekinetic powers? Why would they use their telekinetic powers to kill themselves? Did they realize what they were doing? I just, I'm curious. I'm very curious to know anything else about this theory. And if you guys have any information or you know anybody that may have information on it, on the book this theory came from, the author, or anything regarding the theory itself, I would love to know. But that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for listening to my ramblings and my craziness. Okay, bye.